Hey y'all, is it focused? Um, I just finished getting dressed. I've been cleaning up all day. Um, just putting some lotion on my feet and putting my shoes on. I, it might look like I'm kind of dressed up, but not really. Like I honestly just threw something together because everything is packed. So yeah, I had to make it do what it do. But um, while I was waiting, I just kind of wanted to come and talk to y'all about a few things. Um, I wrote them down because I was like, hmm, I should talk about this. Um, first, I wanted to talk about living off campus. So I've lived off campus for um, two years. I lived on campus for my sophomore and... Um, I'm sorry, my freshman and sophomore year. I liked it. The building that I stayed in was um, more of like an apartment style. And I've had my own room since I moved in. So like I didn't have somebody else in my room with me because I just knew that that would not work for me before I even went to school. So it's important to know yourself and know what works for you and what does not work for you. And I knew roommates would not work for me. So. Yeah, I stayed, I stayed in a room by myself. I mean, I did have like four or five roommates, but I didn't stay in a room with anybody. Um, like I said, I liked it. I didn't mind it. Um, I'm a person who stays to myself for the most part anyway. So it's not like, you know, I have problems with people hogging up spaces or anything like that. Um, the one thing I didn't like was sharing a bathroom. And then another thing is when you live with somebody or live with multiple people and you share like common spaces, everybody doesn't clean up the way that you do. Everybody was not raised the way that you were. So yeah, it could be a problem when like with like cleaning up and like cleanliness. Like I had a roommate back in, I think this, this is my freshman year. Like she would leave the microwave open. She would leave crumbs everywhere. And I just couldn't do it. Cause like I'm low key very OCD. Like everything has to be like clean, smelling good, has to have a place. Like it drives me crazy. And I was just like, no, I like I can't do this at all. Um, but yeah, my junior year is when I start uh, living off campus. Um, in a different building around the same area that I live in right now, just a few blocks like that way. Um, I live with my friend. Uh, I actually liked living off campus. I mean, I didn't mind either way. I did really like my room. The apartment building was pretty nice. Um, I love the fact that we had a washer and dryer inside our apartment um, because didn't have to pay for laundry because in dorms you had to pay for laundry now i pay for laundry as well but we didn't have to pay for laundry um we didn't have to travel to go do laundry for free if we wanted to uh it, that was just good uh like i said i really loved my room it was a real cool experience um and now i live by myself and i absolutely love it like it's literally the best decision that i have made ever um like i said i'm a type of person who i don't really care to have i'm not really a roommate type of person i say to myself so having a space that it can be the way i want it to be and express me that's perfect for me and that's why i just really love like my apartment like you barely can't even get me out of the house but this video is not about living but yeah um living off campus is pretty cool with my school we get like a venture card that you can use on the trains and the buses so transportation is fine the only thing that i don't like is that although i'm only like you know 15 minutes from my school it's still like that commute like coming from over here to go over there or like for me to get to work or my internship, it takes about an hour. Like I have to take a train, I'm sorry, I have to take the bus downtown. Then I have to take the train to my internship or my job. And it's just like, the commute is very draining. But in Chicago in general, commuting is very draining. Like when I was commuting last year, like it just was a lot, like it was 
so irritating like it takes so much out of you before you even can be doing what you're supposed to be doing in the first place um so i would say that's the one downfall from living off campus um I wouldn't say that grocery shopping is a downfall because I never, I have never had a meal plan since I've been in college. I'm a very, very picky eater and I just knew that a meal plan wouldn't work for me, like it'll go to waste and I just never heard good things about a meal plan so I wouldn't say I'm missing out on anything. Um, I always grocery shop, uh, yeah, I cook a lot as you probably have noticed so i mean that's never been a problem for me either like i cook what i like to eat and that's that um something else that i wanted to talk about um this isn't like these topics don't really like kind of flow everything is pretty much about being in school and you while you're in school but they don't really like flow together so like the first topic was living off campus like i said it was pretty good um downfall i would say is the commute and yeah that's it for me uh for you it might be a little different but for me i enjoy living off campus oh yeah and it's cheaper i can't how did I forget that? It's cheaper if you really were to break down how much, at least for my school, if you break down how much that you pay total per semester to live on campus, if you break that down compared to the rent in your area, I bet you living off campus is cheaper. So yeah. And I found a way to uh make it work for me. So that's I'm gonna just leave it like that. I figured out how to make it work for me. Um so next I want to talk about how exploring what you're good at in school is kind of like the best way to go. And what I mean by that is like figuring out what you like and don't like while you're in college. College is the time for you to be like, okay, I like this as a hobby or okay, I want this to be my career or okay, I want to try this or, you know, okay. Okay, my bad y'all, uh, my camera cut off, but um. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying, um, talking about the importance of finding what you like and what you're good at while you're still in school. Um, like I was saying, find out what hobbies you like or what you want to actually make a career out of or, you know, what you want to dabble in. Just to try it out. I feel like college is a time to try things out. You want to, like, you don't want to wait to, like, start trying when you graduate it's okay to try something new after college but start trying you know different things while you're in college that way you feel like okay i don't like this i'm gonna do that or okay i like this i'm gonna do this it just gives you the opportunity to kind of like um narrow down what direction you want to go in i know that a lot of people you know they change their careers or you know they leave college not knowing at all where they're going to go which is okay it's perfectly fine you know everybody's journey is different but you do want to cut it down to make sure you're not wasting time on things that you know for a fact you're not going to like um so say for instance you want to get into a different industry try it out now is the time that's why you're in college and then also internships are a great way to try things out and be like okay yeah i didn't like that it gives you the opportunity to try it out without having to really have like a um a loyalty or a tie to that particular thing so i would just say that college is good for trying college is good for figuring it out that's what it's for you don't have to have everything all planned out all figured out because we make plans and god laughs but it's okay to you know sorry it's awesome. um try it out that's all i have to say about that try everything that you think you might want to do even if you don't know if you would like it now is the time just try it the worst thing is that you don't like it. And if you don't like it, move on. But yeah, take the opportunity and take the risk to try different things. And it could be outside of what you're actually in college for. I mean, yeah, something is your major and you might have majored in this because you like it, but some things are meant to be a hobby and some things are meant to be something that you, you know, make a career out of. Just because you like something doesn't mean that you have to monetize it or make a career out of it. You could just want to do it for fun. So. 
try whatever you think you might be interested in. Um, the next topic is the importance of branding before leaving school. I feel like branding while you're in college is very important. You want to find out who you are, what you want to do, and why you want to do that. Um, I think it does vary depending on like the field that you're in. And if you know what you want to do or you know what direction you want to go in, branding is very important, period. You need to you know say this is me this is what i want the world to see me as and this is who i want to be portrayed as because when you brand yourself it speaks for you before your talent or your skill does so i just feel like branding is very important and by branding i mean that could be social media that could be a website you know that could be your linkedin that could be how you present yourself to other people that could be your portfolio just branding branding is you when i walk outside people already assume the field that i'm in or you know what i do or the type of person that i am because but that's because of what i portray out to them the brand that i have created for myself it does take time and your brand can change or not change but like alter but yeah branding while you're in college is very important if you know the direction that you want to go in I do say that you should leave college with a website and with updated social media pages such as and not just Instagram. I'm talking about Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all that. Instagram is cute, but you want to make sure that you look good on like your LinkedIn. You want to make sure you have some good headshots and you ain't got to be trying to be you no know, model or nothing to get some headshots. Headshots is just for if you know say for instance you start a job and they want a clean picture of you you need a headshot a headshot could be as simple as you getting in front of a white wall putting on a button up t-shirt with some drawers on underneath you only gonna see this and then having your friend take your picture you don't have to pay for that um if you know what you want to do get some business cards even if you don't know what you want to do get some blank business cards with just your name on it and your email address simple you ain't got to be tied to nothing specific on that card but you could just you know keep using that because people may ask or you might go somewhere and want to exchange business cards and look professional so branding is very important and you want to do that before you leave school especially if your school has the resources for you to get some of these things done you want to use that while you're here because you're paying for it anyway um like at my school I had to make my portfolio. I had to make, I'm about to re get it redone anyway, but that's a whole nother thing. I don't know if I'm gonna use them again or not, but they did a great job. It was free. Um, they did my logo. They designed my business cards for free. My business cards look amazing. I got them two years ago. Um, only thing I had to do was pay to get them made, but they made the design for me. Um, I made my website myself, but when I had questions or trying to figure out what route I wanted it to go in, I did meet up to talk to somebody and they, they didn't really help me try to figure out how to do it, but they helped me figure out what I wanted it to look like. Um, so yeah, if your school has the resources, use them because that's what you're paying for. That's what your tuition includes. So yeah. Um, the next topic is, uh, the next and last topic is the importance of internships like i said before you want to try everything and internships are a great way to try that internships assistantships and like shadowing other people um if you are in marketing you can take an internship and see if you actually like it because you might get a little dabble in this field not to say that marketing at every place is going to be the same because it won't but you kind of get an idea of what you'll be doing and if you don't like it you could be like oh no i i tried this i didn't like it fine and it's okay to change your major if you have to i didn't change my major but if you want to change your major do so um i'm not saying wait till your junior year and change your major but if you decide during your freshman or sophomore year like okay i don't like this as much as i thought i would or i don't want to make a career out of this that's fine i don't condone changing your major like seven times i with that but if you need to change it to feel like to feel more secure in being in college do that um internships are great on trying to uh like 
get your skill at a different level so if you have something that you like that you know you want to do you could take an internship underneath somebody or at a company and see what they're doing and how they're doing it and get an idea of how you would want to do it so while i've been in college i've had um i'm gonna say i think i've had four internships all the internships that i had I found them myself. My school does have an internship department, but I just so happened to find all of mine on my own. And my internships came from me reaching out to people, emailing them, you know, whatever, whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much how I got all my internships is me emailing people who I liked or liked what they did or liked their business or like what they stood for. And then I became their intern and they were all really good experiences. Um, yeah take matters into your own hands internships are very important if you don't get the chance to do an internship but there's somebody who you like what they do they're in your same field you could shadow them for a day um i'm pretty sure that they wouldn't mind or if they do mind move on and find somebody else but they should not mind you could see how they do things a different way i shadowed another stylist and i would do it again and again and again because although stylist is you know one thing everybody does that one thing differently like how there's a million water companies but people swear that they all taste different and they come in different packaging it's okay to shadow or look at somebody else who's in your same field because they might have a different way of doing something you'll be like oh wow i never thought of it like that let me try this and it might work for you it gives you the chance to see like a broader view of everything around so um yeah that's that um i just kind of wanted to come and talk to y'all about that real quick i just thought those were good like topics to touch on um because you know some people might be confused about that or any of the things that i mentioned and they might not know what to do so i was like hey let me just come and say this real quick while i'm sitting here waiting but uh yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow